This Iranians are disillusioned and fed up. It isn't just that the Guardian Council disqualified any competition. It's the fact that their country is marred by um, a dire economy, by mismanagement and corruption. If you look at Raisi, he's 60 years old. He's younger than a lot of the clerics in the clerical establishment. And this falls into line with Khamenei's vision of a young and pious government. He wants hardliners leading all three branches. And with Raisi as president, that's exactly what's happening. Essentially what happened on Friday was an embarrassment for the United States because they went in on this alone. And I think the fact that U.S. Special Envoy on Iran, Brian Hook, resigned just a week prior to this um, failed vote tells you that this so-called maximum pressure policy has been a maximum failure thus far. And so when the Trump administration decided to pull out in May 2018, it was with the, basically with the idea that um, U.S. President Donald Trump would get a better deal than his predecessor, Barack Obama. And... What's been unusual in the surge of numbers is the fact that social media is being used. I think these numbers have always been there. Arguably, they say that 20% of all murders in Iran are honor killing related. What suddenly has changed is that people are using social media. They're messaging each other. We will then, um, we will then put, excuse me, my dog. <laughs> that's um, right, that's working from home, isn't it? That's just fine. I mean,